Welcome to the rocket profile of the Atlas V, the Curiosity rover's ride to Mars, and New Horizons' ride to Pluto. The first stage of the Atlas V is powered by a Russian RD-180 engine at the bottom of a 3.81 meter core. The RD-180 burns kerosene and oxygen for around 4 minutes and 13 seconds, depending on potential throttling of the engine, and outputs 4,152 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum. Its vacuum ISP is 337.8 seconds, and its sea level ISP is 311. The RD-180 is essentially half an RD-170, the engine used for the boosters on the Energia rocket. On the Atlas V, it is often accompanied by between 1 and 5 AJ-60A sod rocket boosters, and there you see one detaching there. The variant you see here is my favorite version with just one, though it can launch without any boosters. The boosters last for 94 seconds and each add 1,505 kilonewtons of sea level thrust. Their sea level ISP is 249 seconds. Atlas V variants are designated with three digits. The first digit is the fairing size, 4 for the 4 meter fairing you see here, and 5 for the 5 meter fairing. For the 5 meter fairing version, the slim second stage, the centaur stage, is placed in the fairing with the payload. The second digit is the number of boosters between 0 and 5. The third digit is the number of RL-10 engines on the second stage, either one or two. And this second stage has just one. As of the recording of this video, there have been no launches with the two engines on the Centaur stage, so all launches so far have had a one in the third slot. So the version you see in this video then is an Atlas V 411 or 411 with a low Earth orbit capacity of 12 tons. The heaviest version so far is an Atlas V 551 with an LEO capacity of 18.8 tons. The second stage is the legendary Centaur stage which has been used in various forms since the 1960s. It is the oldest serving hydrogen oxygen stage and on the Atlas V it uses either an RL-10A2 or an RL-10C. The thrust of the engine is 98 kilonewtons for the RL-10A2 with a 446 second specific impulse and a maximum burn time of 15 minutes and 32 seconds. On the Atlas V with fewer boosters, it's advantageous to launch the stage with less fuel because otherwise its long burn time requires maintaining a high pitch to complete orbit. As of the recording of this video, the Atlas V has an amazing success rate with 65 launches and 64 successes, with one partial failure due to a leak on the second stage which caused the stage to shut down early and the payload to be placed in an incorrect orbit. That partial failure was still deemed a success by the customer which was the National Reconnaissance Office. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Atlas V.